with a shot on BTS. And Brown calls the game that way. I mean, he knows what his team is. He can't put it in a position to get blown out. So he's got to try to keep it tight. So this is what you see in the whole game. Taking he's a got deep it. shot. Mahomes to open. Touchdown. 42 yards, and Purdue takes the lead as Anthony Mahomes. Right past Manny Ragumba for the touchdown. Three straight, Kev. Went after Ragumbo. Ragumbo, they, they knew they had something. So he says, hey, I could get on top of him. Well, when you say it, you better do it. And Mahungo did a really nice job of getting on top of the coverage. And the ball was right where it had to be. That was really well done. They don't get a lot of deep shots. Freshman trying to cover Mahungo at the top of the screen. Sindelar looking that direction, looking for Mahungu in the end zone. Mahungu's got it. It's a touchdown. Man, that is awesome. Sindelar would just drop a dime right there, boys. Mahungu ran a good route. The coverage wasn't bad. That ball had to be right. In. Look at this throw. Look at the coverage. He's right on top of it. Turn your head. Now, he doesn't turn his head, but, yeah, he has control. His feet are in bounds. Mahungu, play number five in a row, is touchdown number two. Anthony Mahungu, seven catches, 135 yards, assuming this is good, and it is. Both career highs. Anthony Mahungu is on Second down and eight. Play action. Pressure coming. Stanley in trouble. And Stanley is sacked. Marcus Bailey right on top of Nathan Stanley. That has been the third time today that that's happened. Yeah, so you're going to see, they, they just have let him go. They're going to block down on the inside. Looks like the tight end's going to clown on around anyway. And he's just come clean. Bailey's come clean. And then earlier, Antoine Miles had two. Second down and 10 at the 17. Akram Wadley the carry and nowhere to go for Wadley. Let's check in with Lisa. Well, we can get this. We've got one more quarter, boys, is what Jeff Brom told this sideline. And frankly, it's a sideline that's not. 11th play of the drive. Second and eight at the Purdue 44. Three-step drop over the middle. Hawkinson can't pull it in. Is it picked off? What a pick by Navon Mosley! Off the carom, Mosley with a circus grab to turn the Hawkeyes away! Somebody needed to make a play, Mosley was the guy. They tried to force that ball on the inside, and it's a, nice, it's a tight throw, Kevin. I mean, it is a tight throw. They're gonna get it back inside, but Mosley, wherewithal, pick. Going the other way. A BTN standout to turn the Hawkeyes aside. Navon Mosley off the deflection. Fired up. Our BTN standout gives Purdue the ball. Better than that, Kevin. It does. It, yeah, I was, as I'm saying those numbers, they didn't seem right, but they are. No, the numbers are right. He's He's got to finish it right here. Second and 10 at the 45. Pressure up the middle. He's in trouble and he's sacked again. Keelan Robinson and Easy Chuku both there. The sixth sack for Purdue. Matt, they had 16 sacks as a defense all year. They have six in this game. There is no way that you were going to say that you're going to get all these sacks. You're going to say, Robinson's coming number 13. He's working to the inside. That's just Easy Chuku on the outside until they scored twice. And that's the difference in the game. And that, my friend, was on that coach. That's a heck of a play call. Jeff Brom called a terrific game today. And next week, not only will the old oaken bucket be up for grabs, but inside the old oaken bucket, you'll find a ball pit because the winner gets the bucket and the winner's going bowling. Purdue and Indiana both one win away with first-year head coaches from going to a bowl game as the Boilermakers shock the Hawkeyes in Iowa City 24 to 15 the final Iowa now six and five before their date with Nebraska at the end of the year 
Purdue at five and six. Both teams three and five in league play. So, Jeff, the difference in this game? Play calling. It's play calling by the play callers. One guy 